One of the biggest reasons people fail in building size and strength is because they leave out the foundational exercises like compound lifts. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build size and strength using compound exercises. Compound lifts are exercises that work several muscle groups simultaneously. They're your main heavy lifts which form the base of any strengthening routine. And if you have a regular workout routine, it's most likely you'll already be including a few of these compound exercises in your workouts. But what's so important about them? Why do we need them to get stronger? And which compound lifts would get you the best results? Let's break down the core principles of compound lifts and go through some of the most effective ways to build muscle. But before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. And if you want my number one recommendation of the best way to support healthy weight loss, just click the first link in the description below this video. Welcome to Fit Whole Body. And on this channel, we share tips on weight loss, general health, and building muscle naturally to help you perform better and optimize your life. Now let's get into the video. So I'm going to show you how to build size and strength using compound exercises. But what are compound lifts exactly? Compound lifts are any strengthening exercise where you're using more than one muscle group at the same time. Exercises like squats and deadlifts are included, and there's a lot of benefits that I'm going to cover that you can get from doing them. First, they're efficient. By working several muscle groups at once, you can save time. Perfect if you're trying to squeeze a couple of workouts around a busy schedule, or simply if you want to fit more in at the gym. And these exercises allow you to lift heavy. By relying on more than one muscle group, you can afford to load up the weight and go heavy. And this is exactly what you want if you're looking to get stronger, build muscle, and make progress. They burn more calories. Doing bigger moves that engage more muscle groups while lifting heavier loads are all the things that contribute to burning more calories. And by taking on more weight, you use more of the glycogen stored up in your muscles, which is great for using that pent-up energy. They get your heart rate up. Done right, strength-based workouts can be just as good at getting your heart rate up as cardio-based workouts. The reason for this is that you're using multiple muscles at once and demanding a lot out of them. So to make sure your muscles are topped up with enough energy to lift, your heart needs to pump harder. They help improve your mobility. Compound lifts are often quite technical. And being able to do them correctly as well as hit all the right muscles means having a good amount of joint mobility. Hips, shoulders, knees, ankles, and wrists all play their part in helping you to build muscle. And so, as well as working on your strength, compound exercises also help you to focus on improving your mobility. They help to improve your coordination. Compound lifts often take years to master. Every rep should be practiced with good form, not just to grow muscle, but also to avoid injury. So learning the movements and allowing your muscles to learn as well is great for helping you to focus and improve your coordination. Now that we know why compound movements are so important, we can start to look at which ones are going to help you get the best results. First, we're going to cover the most effective compound exercises for building muscle across all of your major muscle groups. Number one, squats. Squats are likely to be the exercise that allows you to lift the most weight mainly because the weight is already on top of you and there's not a lot of movement needed to complete the exercise. That's not to say that they're easy, and getting the technique right when you're lifting a decent amount of weight is all the more reason to practice good form, but in terms of building muscle mass, squats are vital because they hit so many different muscle groups at the same time. Plus, you can really pile on the weight for maximum gains. They work your quads, lower back, glutes, hamstrings, hip flexors, and core. Number two, barbell hip raises. Your glutes and hamstrings are two of the most important areas to strengthen. They're your support when you squat, your strength when you deadlift, and your power when you're doing any form of plyometrics or sprint work. They can be, however, notoriously difficult to strengthen. And when looking to target these areas, many people will do squats, not realizing that these aren't necessarily the best exercises to do to work these muscles. Unless you can really push your weight back, squats mainly work your quads. And to really bring your glutes and hamstrings up to speed, you need to be changing it up with some more focus lifts. Barbell hip raises are a great way to work your hamstrings and glutes. And because you can load the barbell up, you can really bring your posterior chain up to speed, which will help with a range of other exercises as well. They work your glutes, hamstrings, lower back, core, 
hip flexors, and biceps. Number three, deadlifts. Deadlifts are one of those compound strength exercises that many people really aren't sure about. From a young age, many of us are taught that bending while lifting is bad. So from a beginner's perspective, they can look like injuries just waiting to happen. However, the correct form involves keeping your back straight throughout the whole exercise. When deadlifting, form is crucial. When using good form, they are more likely to help prevent injuries than create them. They're incredibly useful for targeting the weaker areas of the posterior chain, and they'll assist you in making some serious progress toward your strength goals. The important thing to remember is to get the technique right. Practice with just a barbell and make sure you're lifting with your glutes and hamstrings, not your upper body. Just starting out, trap bars will help you perfect your form while you're still learning. They'll also help you resist the temptation of letting your weight fall forward as you lift. They work your hamstrings, lower back, glutes, hip flexors, and core. Number four, incline bench press. Bench presses are great, but pecs are big muscles. So doing flat bench presses tends to just target one part. By changing your bench presses and doing both incline and decline versions, you can target the upper and lower chest as well. Incline bench presses are really important because they work your upper chest. This is going to help lift your chest muscles as well as balance everything out. You probably want to go for a 45 degree angle, but this will change slightly depending on your weight and body type. The most important thing to do is remain engaged with your muscles. That way, you'll be able to tell if you have the right angle because you'll be able to feel what muscles you're working. They work your upper chest, front delts, and triceps. Number five, clean and press. The clean and press is a slightly simplified version of the clean and jerk, which is an Olympic weightlifting move. It's a very technical exercise and is something that's more suited to experienced lifters. It is, however, fantastic for building muscle because it works so many different muscle groups in one go. And because it's so complex, it's ideal for developing your functional fitness levels. A clean and press is basically a close body deadlift, which is then followed up with a shoulder press. The most difficult part of this exercise is the transition in the middle. This is where you need to change your grip on the bar so you can go from a pull to a push. You also need to have a good amount of flexibility to be able to catch the bar and pause with it front loaded at the top of your chest. They take a lot of practice, but are great for building strength as well as CrossFit style exercises. They work your quads, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, core, hip flexors, delts, upper chest, lats, traps, and triceps. Number six, parallel dips. Parallel dips are fantastic for building muscle mass across your upper body. They're not the easiest form of exercises, but that's what makes them a fantastic challenge and all the more satisfying when you finally get the hang of them. There are a couple of different types of parallel dips those that target the chest area, and the type that focuses on your triceps. It just depends on how you position yourself. You can do them with weighted chains to really pile on the muscle. Just remember, if you have any shoulder issues, specifically with your AC joint, you're better off leaving these and substituting them with upper body exercises that are less strenuous. They work your delts, triceps, chest, and core. Number seven, pull-ups. The term pull-ups refers to a multitude of exercises that can be done on a pull-up bar, the most popular type being chin-ups. However, all forms have their benefits, so once you've mastered one type, it's good to keep mixing it up. Pull-ups are one of the best ways to target your back and are great for improving your functional fitness levels as well. And by having to lift your entire body weight, they're perfect for building up your grip strength, which is vital for a full range of lifts. They work your lats, delts, traps, biceps, and core. And be sure to include accessory lifts. Compound lifts are ideal for ensuring training is both efficient and effective, but it's also important you supplement your heavy lifts with accessory lifts, such as working with dumbbells to help maintain balance and improve functional fitness. This is also a good way to target any weaker areas. I hope you found this video useful, and if you're struggling to burn fat and lose weight no matter how much you diet or exercise, be sure to check out my number one recommendation of the best way to support healthy weight loss. Just click the first link in the description below this video. 
By the way, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell to get the latest tips on weight loss, general health, and building muscle naturally to help you perform better and optimize your life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.